from Fiber Flux. I have here the Charity Crochet Along project that we've been working on so far this year. This is one of three of our year-long crochet alongs. This is our Charity Crochet Along. We also have a Stash Down Crochet Along and a Temperature Blanket Crochet Along. So we've been super busy here in the Fiber Flux world. Each year, and this is the first year we've started our crochet along, but each year we're going to be focusing on a charity and making projects and at the end of the year donating the finished pieces to that charity. This year we're partnering up with a really great organization called Soap Sacks. And what they do is they make these little pouches and they're super easy to make. They offer, the organization offers a knitting pattern and a crochet pattern, so whatever you like to do. Um, and you just stitch them up using some simple cotton yarn, uh, like dishcloth yarn, and they are super easy to make. They have a little hanging loop. So this is a really great organization. Now, if you joined me at the beginning of the year, when I launched this project uh, over the winter in January, um, I committed to making 100 of these. Now, I've been working, working, working hard on these. I don't have a hundred yet, I'm not near that amount, but I have been making lots of these and I've been using, like I said, the cotton dishcloth yarn. I've been using a lot of the Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie, which is a really soft kind of cotton dishcloth yarn. But I also have a lot of like no name, labelless uh, cotton dishcloth yarn as well that I've kind of accumulated over the years. So this has been, even though we have like a separate stash down crochet along, this has also been a stash down of sorts that allows me to use all these random uh, cotton remnants of yarn that I have. I have like large balls of the yarn, I have little pieces. Um, so just to show you some of, I grabbed a, a little bit of what I've been working on here, but um, I've had a lot of fun playing around with the colors and this is one I did that just has like a sort of like a pink top. This one I did um, more of a thicker color on top with the, the white on the bottom. This one I had some variegated yarn and I did like a solid top. So th these have been a lot of fun to experiment with. This one was more of like a two-tone color block and you can see uh, some of these need their finish work another color block one that I did. This one I did three colors because I just had a little tiny snippet of that green yarn. So it almost looks like a um, like a colored pencil or something like that. Uh, some more color blocks, things like that. I did like some neutrals with some brights. Um, this one has three colors. I did like a little edging at the top. I just had a little tiny bit of this pink yarn. So it's been a great way. Here's a solid one. It's been a great way to really use up some of this yarn. It's going to an awesome cause. So um, here's a couple other ones that I grabbed and then a little stripey one here. So if you haven't joined us yet, now you can really, I set a goal of 100, but you can really make as many of these as you like. And there's two ways that you can donate these. You can either deliver them yourself to a place in your community that's in need. So if you have um, a shelter or um, other, you might want to uh, maybe call around and see who needs these the most, but um, local communities need these and you can kind of deliver them yourselves, which uh, some people who are participating in this crochet along have told me that they've done. They've already, people have already donated a bunch of these and they kind of check in and say, oh, I need 30 and I donated them or I need 10 and I dropped them off. Um, I'm kind of creating a pile of these as I go because I'm going to donate them to the organization at the end of the year. That's the second option you could do. So you either deliver them yourself locally or you can mail them to the Soap Sack organization. And I'll put all the links to that um, below as well so you can know where to send them. They also provide, you can get little printable tags where you attach a little tag onto it and it kind of uh, goes along as you send it off. Um, now, they do get soap donations, so you might want to check with them about how it works with the soap. I'm going to just donate my pouches. Um, at the time when I was working with the organization when we were kind of planning this project, um, they do get a lot of soap. So they said you can also just mail the pouches in, the little sacks, and they can put the soap in there for you as well. And it's actually um, the uh, lovely lady who runs the program told me that it's a little bit lighter for you to mail. So you can actually mail more of these instead of a bunch of heavy soap, or you can mail it with the soap. It's completely up to you. So all the information for this 
really wonderful project can be found below. And use the hashtag FiberFlexCal to share your work, to kind of report in on how many you've made. You can jump into this project at any time. You don't need to have started with us in January by any means. You can jump in at any time. You can make one, you can make a million. It's totally up to you. And this is also a great little project if you have like a knitting or crochet circle or little organization that you belong to. You could all, all kind of collectively work on the project as well. So share with me what you're doing. Are you participating? Are you just hearing about this and, and want to jump right in? To, uh, share it with me. Also, if you're not a member of our Ravelry group, please share uh, or follow the link below if you'd like to join. It's uh, kind of a, our community that we, it's the Fiberflux Cal group, and it's our community where we um, will share, I, I share all the Cal updates. So we do year-long Cal's. We have three of them this year. And I also do a seasonal Cal. So we're getting ready. Um, we're actually, we're in the middle of the summer crochet along. We had a spring one earlier in the year. Um, we do a holiday one, we do a fall one. So all the crochet along, we always, there's always a crochet along going on at any, any given time of the year. We love crochet alongs in the fiber flux world. Um, but anyway, in that group, you can share photos, you can get help. If you need help with anything, there's tons of people that jump right in. It's a wonderful community to uh, learn, show off your work, kind of report in on what you're doing. And um, share below too, how, how are you doing with this project? Are you gonna join us? Have you already started? And also, last but not least, be sure and hit that subscribe button and get all the latest FiberFlux video updates. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will check in with this project again in the fall. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.